Hello all dancer friends, welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you guys my collection of whales and dolphins. I've placed them all into this box. Let's get started. Alright guys, so let's begin. Our first figure right here is my one and only Basilosaurus. Yes, this is actually a prehistoric whale. Yes, it is. It's not a dinosaur. It is actually a 2017 figure. Um, a pretty classic figure, I must say. Really nice. Plenty of detailing and um, the paintwork on this is absolutely amazing as well. So this is a Basilosaurus prehistoric whale. I don't have much facts about this. So let's move on. Next up, we have a Harmed back wheel right over here. This is actually a small version with a bigger version right here And this figure is like all the way back in 2013 Let's read some facts about the Harmed back wheel right here guys, okay? So Harmed backs were once hunted extensively and they remained endangered. That's true. That's true Let's place all the wheels right over here. So this is the other Harmed back wheel and um, Yeah, that's right. So this one it's pretty big, I must say, and um, Harmback whales they are actually known for their haunting songs that they sing. Okay, you can see this is like our one of our biggest whale figures in our collection. Next, another one, another Harmback guys, but this one is even cooler. It has a movable jaw, and I got this figure like quite recently, but I think this figure is like, oh wow, this figure is like 2008. Oh my goodness, this is a pretty old figure. Right, you can see we have three humpback wheels right over here. Next up, I'm gonna move on to what is this? Grey whale. You can see it has like little. I'm not too sure whether these are like parasites. Do you guys know what these are? They're basically like living organisms on the body, I suppose. So this is a grey whale figure. Um, a 2018 figure. I really love how accurate and how realistic this figure looks like. It definitely, it's definitely a collector's item. Next, uh, I'm gonna take a look at this nair whale right over here. Do you guys know that nair whales, this little spear, this spike right here is actually an overgrown tooth. So this figure, it's a pretty nice figure from 1997, okay? It's um, from Safari LTD. We also have another one from another brand, but um, let's see which one is actually nicer. I definitely prefer this one more because it looks a little bit more, less cartoonish. Maybe the eyes looks a bit more realistic to me. So one figure is like 2013, the other one is like 1997. So you can see there's a, well, some, some differences as well. Okay, this whale, let's put this right over here. Next, we have a dolphin. And um, what type of dolphin is this? Yes, it is a bottlenose dolphin. I think it's one of the more common species of the dolphins around. So this figure was um, a 1991 figure, nice. This is a mink whale, a very nice mink whale. You can see the patterns on his body. Okay, I don't have much facts about this whale. Next, we have a whale shark. A whale shark is not exactly a whale. It is actually a kind of carpet shark. Yes, that's right. So, but I've actually brought this just to let you guys know that this is actually not a whale. Another whale right here, a big grey whale. So you can see it has the same kind of pebble-like structures on his body. Really beautiful figure, I must say. Next, what is this? This is a right whale, a right whale figure. So, these are known as the right whales because they are the right kind of whales to hunt. So basically, you know, when they are being hunted, the body floats to the um, surface of the ocean. So it's like much easier for the um, Farmers, the fish farmers to 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 harvest, and um, another. This is a bow head wheel. I think I got this figure like you know quite recently. Another bow head wheel right over here. Okay, so we have two bow heads. Really beautiful. This is an orca, also known as a killer wheel. All right. They are actually very, very good predators. In fact, they are apex predators. They can take down a whale. Sperm whale, this is like very, very, you know, significant. You can easily recognize this as a sperm whale because of the squarish head, all right? This, it's a blue whale, okay? 
and not a whale shark figure okay so this is a pretty new figure that we have just purchased but um it's actually a very old figure that was released like many years back this is not a beluga whale this is actually a white whale the beluga whale is actually right over here which has a hump you know on his head and um they can actually use echolocation to help them find its way in the um ocean this is a pilot wheel. The head shape always reminds me of the beluga wheel because they are both pretty rounded. Another one, we have two, you know, entirely similar figures. This is a pygmy sperm whale figure. This figure, I mean, this pygmy sperm whale is actually pretty small. It is about the size of a dolphin. Okay, this is actually a Japanese um produced blue whale figure i really love it because of the size you know it's pretty handy this it's an atlantic white center dolphin one of the dolphins with this very unique yellow color across the body and um this it's a Ganges river dolphin the smaller the dolphin yes it's a bottlenose dolphin calf a young bottlenose dolphin and this is of a Vakritar. From what I've read previously, they, they are critically endangered. They are like less than 10 left in the world. So I'm not too sure how many to date there are right now. This is a Say Will. Alright. And this is actually a Beluga calf. The colors is like pretty dark as compared to the um, fully grown adult. This is a Pacific White Southern Dolphin. Another dolphin right here is probably a bottlenose dolphin. Another dolphin right over here. It doesn't say it's the, um, the species, but I guess it should be a bottlenose dolphin. This is a mini narwhal, probably like a young narwhal. A beluga small little figure and this is an orca this fin right here is re really long they are also known as the killer whales let's read some facts no record exists of attacks on a human being i mean at least not in captivity because i've actually read an article or some news that a killer whale or an orca actually attack a human in the enclosed, you know, a sea aquarium. So another orca right here. This is known as the Blaine Views Big Wheel. And um, this is a beluga. This it's a bottlenose dolphin, but the but this pattern on his body looks kind of weird. And our last figure is actually a dolphin. Yep, no more figures. So this is basically our collection of whales and dolphins, okay? Thanks for watching this. I want you guys to let me know what other animals you guys want me to make, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Hello, all Dan Safarians. Welcome to the Basement Dino Dungeon. And today I'm going to show you guys my collection of prehistoric reptiles and reptiles. I placed them all into this box. So let's pick it up and put it on the shelf, on a table, on our review table to take a look at our entire reptiles and prehistoric reptiles collection. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so let's get started. The first figure right here is actually a prehistoric uh, marine reptile. Known, I almost said flying reptiles, but this is actually a prehistoric marine reptile known as a Mosasaurus, okay? Next, this is a um, Galapagos adult tortoise. They are actually land animals, okay? And um, right over here, we have a Mosasaurus and this has been added to my collection um, for like the longest time. I really love this because, you know, it is a soft and it's a puffy kind of um, figure that I really like. And the paintwork, it's pretty realistic as well. Okay, next, another Mosasaurus figure that we have got, you know, many years back. I mean, probably like last, last year back. This is a Komodo dragon. I think this figure looks 
like an actual reptile. If you put this on the floor, I think most people will, you know, mistaken it for an actual, you know, reptile, a real Komodo dragon. So you guys know that Komodo dragons, they can be found in um, Indonesia. Yep, I got this figure like, you know, a couple of weeks back. This is actually an alligator with some alligator babies on top of its body and you can see the alligator babies actually has orange stripes across the body which is pretty cool. I've never known that, okay. Um, another Mosasaurus figure right over here. This is a Mosasaurus, okay. Prehistoric marine reptile once again. We have an iguana which you guys should have seen this before, okay. It looks like, it looks very realistic. It looks like an actual iguana. Next, we have a beautiful snake right over here and this is actually known as a corn snake. Another Mosasaurus figure. I really love this figure because it has plenty of like colors on its body. The detailing is pretty intricate. As you guys can see, you can see the creases on the body. Um, the sculpt is pretty accurate as well. Okay, this is actually like a bootleg figure. It doesn't have any brand to it. So yeah, it's more like an ind independent kind of um, figure. This figure is pretty classic, it's um, all the way back in like 2014, a uh, very cool figure, okay, Mosasaurus as you guys can see, um, it's made of pretty cool, uh, pretty good material I must say, oh I think this one is my most favourite, I think this has got to be my most realistic figure from my collection, this is actually from, um, it's made of really really hot material and you can see the surface is actually painted with a shiny sheen of um, paint. So it looks absolutely astounding and realistic. So this is another, another Mosasaurus, okay? This snake, I have no idea what type of snake this is. It's probably like a, a black-headed snake. I'm not too sure what this is called. So if we have a Cam's Ridley Sea Turtle Baby right over here, okay? Komodo Dragon, I got this figure many years back. Um, it's not the best looking figure, I must say. It's not really well detailed. The paintwork is kind of sloppy, but it's still a nice figure to have in my collection. This is a red ear slider tortoise, okay? Uh, I've actually two of them, um, and they are about the size of this. I think they are slightly bigger than this right now, yeah. I'm thinking of, you know, um, how we can actually replace them, not replace them, how we can actually find them a new home. So this is a um, loggerhead turtle. A very nice little figure. This it's a saltwater crocodile. It's one of the largest crocodiles out there, if not the largest, and they have the biggest bite force of all animals. With a brown snake, I got this figure because I wanted to make like an Australian animals video, and this brown snake is apparently found in Australia. And this is another um saltwater crocodile which is from animals of australia so yeah I, I i did a video yesterday on animals of australia check it out if you haven't done so okay another snake right over here this is known as a coit snake if i'm not wrong a coit snake i have no idea you know where this can be found yep this is a nile crocodile which you can definitely find in um africa this should be an alligator okay we have a white-headed Burmese python, I think. Let's see, let's check out the name. Yep, albino Burmese python. Let's see, yeah, very cool. I love the color of this. This is a leatherback sea turtle. Okay, I've never seen one in real life before. King Cobra, wow, this has got to be a very realistic looking. I mean, if you put this like in an attic or in a basement or you know in a dark room, it will definitely scare a lot of people. But please don't try this prank at home. Um, yeah, because this looks really realistic. And if you, I mean, if you take a look at this, it looks like an actual um, snake, a real sn cobra. One species can spray venom up to eight feet away. Wow, that's pretty cool. Eight feet is roughly about. 2.3 meters, I think, roughly around there. And this is a sight wider rattlesnake. So um, this tail right here can actually rattle and you can hear a sound that sounds like a rattling kind of... um. I don't really know how to describe the sound. <coughs> All right, we have a crocodile right over here. And this should be another tortoise. This is known as a horned lizard. 
a um, 2010 figure, yeah, but I got this just, just like a couple of weeks back. This is like a bearded dragon, a um, albino, oh no, this is actually a leucistic alligator, not albino alligator. This should be the um, uh, a mask, a puppet mask of a um, a puppet of a crocodile, or it could be in um, Sakusugers, not too sure. This is a sea turtle baby. It's more like a generic sea turtle baby. It's written as a sea turtle baby. Pretty nice figure. It's kind of a, like you know soft and um, spongy. Yeah, I got this because I wanted to make like an um, you know, Australian animals collection and this is a fruit lizard that can be found in, um, let's see, uh, in Australia, I guess. Yeah, that's right. What else do we have? Um, another sea turtle. This should be an adult, fully grown adult sea turtle. A snake right here, but I have no idea what is the type of the snake. This is a collared lizard. I've never seen one before, but it looks really beautiful. Plenty of colors, plenty of spots. It also has stripes across the body, so it looks fantastic to me. This is a um, giant tortoise. I've actually seen one. I've seen many of them, in fact, at my local zoo a couple of weeks back when I went there with my family. And this is a sea turtle, adult sea turtle. This is a beautiful snake. What is this? Let's see. This is actually known as a coral snake. It's a baby. Coral snake baby. Well, it's kind of colorful. Um, spiders are not supposed to be in this video because they're not reptiles, um, as well as this stick insect. So this frog should not be in this collection as well, okay? Um, yeah, this is a thorny devil, which is a type of lizard. I think this can also be found in Australia. I can't remember. Please correct me if I'm wrong. What else we have? Um, this is known as a K-man, which is a slight, which is a smaller species of crocodiles. Some of them are actually about this this size, like two feet to three feet long only. And um, another tortoise right over here. And um, this it's a let's see what is this? This is a desert tortoise. A pretty nice miniature figure. Plenty of detail. Yeah, I really love this figure a lot. And um, this is the stand of the Mosasaurus right over here, which is a prehistoric flying rep prehistoric marine reptile. So this is basically my collection of reptiles. I've included some of my um you know prehistoric marine reptiles for you guys to see. I mean maybe next video I'm gonna show you guys some of my prehistoric animals right over here. This entire row um, is containing some of my prehistoric animals collection. And um, yeah, some of the prehistoric marine reptiles. And of course, this is the largest marine reptile that we have in our collection, okay? Thanks for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Hello, all Dan Safarians. Today, I'm going to show you guys some new animals in our collection, okay? So let's get right into it. Okay, guys, so let's get started, okay? So right here, we have a pack of figures sent over to us from Jeremiah. So he actually said, Dear Dan Surprise, I got you a new collector Great White Shark Pandas Family Pacific White Sided Dolphin. Thank you, Jeremiah, for sending us fan mail. If you guys want to send us fan mail, you can do it as well, okay? So let's see what has Jeremiah sent us. Wow, it's a really nice um, giraffe, and this giraffe is actually from Papo. Thank you so much, Jerem. Thank you so much, Jeremiah. So you guys should know that giraffe are the tallest land animal. And what is this? This it's a wolf. Let's check this out. Wow, it's a really nice wolf figure. I don't have this figure, so thank you so much for having, you know, for sending us this. This would definitely go into our collection. We also have a zebra. This is a very nice little zebra. Looks really cute and adorable. So we can definitely put this in our African animals collection, okay? What else do we have? Oh, we have a panda, and this is like a small little panda, looks really cute. Oh, this figure is from Collecte, so it's a really nice one. We also have an adult panda. Do you guys know that, you know, panda, they were once critically endangered, but, you know, there were some conservation efforts, and right now, it's much better. And we have a beautiful rhinoceros. Wow, this rhinoceros looks really, really good. And I think this is also from Papo, if I'm not wrong. Really nice figure. It looks really classic. Yep, rhinoceros is actually one of my most favorite animals. I think my most favorite animal is actually the lion. And um, yes, I also love rhino as well. 
So Zebra, this Zebra is also, I'm not too sure where this is from, but it looks really nice. This would definitely go into our African Animals collection, okay? Let's put this right over here. And here, we have a beautiful... Wow, this is really nice. I've never seen this before. This is a great white shark from Collecte. It's like 2015 figure, looks really, really good. This would definitely go into our sharks collection. While you can see, it has like two rows of teeth at the bottom and one row at the top. Looks really nice. As you guys know, great white sharks, they are, I mean, they have really good sense of smell. Oh, another panda. So we have a family of pandas right over here. And I think there's one more figure. Oh, it's a nice lion. Wow, it looks really majestic. Wow, where is this from? Let's check this out. It's from Peppo. Wow, a 2005 Peppo figure. Looks fantastic as well. Looks really, really good. You can see the level of detailing on this figure. The fur is, you know, it's really detailed really nicely. So it looks really fantastic. This will go into our big cats collection. Let's see, what, what else do we have inside this pack? Oh, we have a beautiful lioness. So together with this lion, you know, they can actually form like a pride of beautiful lions. So these two would definitely go into our African animals collection. So thanks for Jeremiah for sending us this. I mean, if you guys want to send me fan mail, any drawings of animals, please do so. You can check our address on our about tab on our channel, okay? So let's take a look at other animals inside this box. We have a camel. This is a veteran camel. All right. And what do we have right here? A commodity bear, All right? And this, it's a bandicoot. I've never seen a bandicoot before. You know, apparently this is actually an animal that you can find in Australia. Art Rock, I've actually seen one at my local night safari recently, so I've actually seen them. They're pretty small, just about this size, the size of a big rat. Yep. What else do we have? An Arctic Fox. I've never seen an Arctic Fox before, but I'm pretty sure that they are really beautiful. You can find them in the snowy, um, you know, mountains. What else do we have? We have a polar bear cup that looks really adorable. And, oh yes, another polar bear cup. Okay, what else do we have? This, it's a pangolin. Yes, I've never seen a pangolin before as well, but apparently they can also be found in my country, which is um, Singapore. And this, it's a bear, a grizzly bear. A mandrill, all right. They can be pretty aggressive, that's what I heard. Okay, another pangolin. This pangolin, if I'm not wrong, was also sent to us um, by um, by Jeremiah, I think. Yes, this is a beautiful pangolin that we have just got from our, um, you know, zoo. An anteater. I've just seen an anteater very recently, like a couple of weeks back at my local night safari. So, you know, they have this really long snout that is able to, you know, reach to those really hard to reach places. Um, we have a rock wallaby, yellow-footed rock wallaby. So they are actually different from um, kangaroos. And let's see. Let's take a look at some facts about this rock wallaby. The female carry young in a forward opening um, pose for four to five weeks. This endangered species inhabits rocky outcrops in semi arid areas of Australia. Nice, really nice. Let's see, what else do you have? We have a tab here, right here. This, it's, what is this? Can you guys please let me know, is this like a, a llama? Platypus, okay. And this is another kangaroo. Yep, a kangaroo with a joey in the pouch. Really nice figure. If you take a look at this figure, this is a really nice collector's item, I must say. You know, the baby is sitting on top of the, um, perhaps the mother, a mandrill. This is a dingo, which is an Australian wild dog. And um, this, it's an armadillo. That was, the previous one was pangolin. So they do have some similarities. For example, like, you know, they have armor. They have an armored body. A kangaroo, an Australian animal. We can probably do like an Australian animals really soon. 
Um, this it's a wolf, I think. It should be a wolf, right? Let's see. Um, uh, coyote. It's actually a coyote. It looks like a wolf to me. And orangutan, they are extremely intelligent animals. Another Australian animal. This is actually a booby. Yeah, let's take a look at some facts about the booby, shall we? Alright, they can be found in desert regions of central Australia in grasslands of South West Queensland. The status is vulnerable. 1 to 2 kilograms. They feed on seeds, insects, including beetles, spiders, and termites. Nice, really nice. Let's proceed to the next one with a tap here, right here. A red panda. This is a small little wolf. I think this was from PNSO. This is a sloth. And um, this is a chimpanzee, I guess. Yep, it should be a chimpanzee. A red panda, so we can definitely form like a family. This is a beautiful little fox. Fox are really intelligent animals as well. And not a mandrew, so I think we have plenty of mandrews as you guys can see. We can probably form like a um, family. And this is a lemur, ring tail lemur. Let's read some facts about the ring tail lemur. A female lemur carries a newborn in her mouth. Wow, I've never known that. I mean, I've, I mean, I only knew this when I read the facts about you know on this card. But previously, yeah, I didn't know this. A polar bear cup seems like we have plenty of polar bear cups. Another one right here. Okay. Oh, this is a gibbon. Really nice gibbon. Yep, you can probably hang this. You know, you can hang this on a like a little string or a branch. A Sumatran rhino. I mean, if you do a comparison with our previous rhinoceros, where is it? Um, right here. So this is more like an African rhinoceros, and this is a Sumatran rhino. So you can see the color, the body texture is actually very different. Okay. Let's see what else we got. A chimpanzee right here, and this is actually known as a oh my goodness, proboscis monkey. Yes, this is known as a proboscis monkey. I seen this, I seen them at my local zoo a couple of weeks back when I went to there. Okay, Tasmanian devil. This can be found in um, Australia. Koala. Yep, they're not bears. They're marsupials, and um, I've actually hugged one when I was in Australia many years back. This it's a echidna, echidna, echidna. So let's read some facts about it. echidna. Echidnas exist in two distinct forms. Echidna, also known as spiny anteater, is part of a unique group of animals known as the monotremata. They lay eggs and suckle their young with milk, just like other members of this group, the platypus. Cool. Nice, some, some nice facts. So basically, we have plenty of wild animals, you know, Australian animals in this box today. A red panda. And our last figure of the day is actually a panda bear. So, yep. So that's all. Thanks for watching this. Gonna keep all these animals into the box, but not the African animals. Because um, the African animals will be placed um, in the African animals set. So let's just put them right in. The um, cats will be put in the cat set, of course. For the sharks as well, the sharks will not be placed here, but all the other animals will be placed right there. Okay, this will go into the African animal set. This one will stay here. You can put all this in. All right, the pandas will all go into this box. So thanks again, thanks for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one, and um, yeah, stay tuned for more. Subscribe if you haven't do so. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Hello again Safarians and welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to show you guys my collection of reptiles. Okay, check them out right over here. They are looking great. So let's get started guys. Alright then Safarians, let's begin. My first figure right here is actually a really beautiful Komodo dragon. This figure looks really realistic. If you take a look closely, the detailing on this figure and the paint work, it's just absolutely amazing. It looks like an actual Komodo dragon, okay? So um, you can actually play a prank on a friend by just putting this on the floor and they will be super terrified, I must say, because it looks like an actual real Komodo dragon, like a mini one, okay? 
Next up, let's take a look at this. What do we have right here? I think we have a Galapagos adult tortoise. I think this is a land animal. It cannot live in the sea for sure. All right. So this is a beautiful um, tortoise figure. All right. One of our biggest, if not the biggest. Okay. Next up, what is this? This is a beautiful snake that we have just added to our collection not too long ago. It's actually a corn snake. I really love the colors of this snake. It looks so beautiful, but I'm I'm not too sure whether this is actually poisonous or not. All right, let's move on. Next, um, let's take let's take a look at this. This is a red ear slider. Yes, have you guys seen my video of my previous video? I've actually fed two of my red ear sliders. I've put like turtle pellets into my tank. So check it, check it out, guys. If you guys have not seen my previous video, okay. So red ear sliders. My red ear sliders are about the size of this one right now, okay. Yeah, they can actually live in the water. They can also live on land as well. Next, we have an iguana right here, I've, and I think this figure looks really realistic as well. And um, to be really honest with you, um, I live in Singapore and I've seen plenty of iguanas, and I think they are really beautiful animals. All right, next up, let's take a look at this. We have a fruit lizard. This is actually a lizard from Australia. I have never seen a lizard with such a beautiful um, frill right over here. So they can actually expand this frill to frighten away their predators or probably like humans as well. Okay, next up, we have a crocodile right over here and this is a Nile crocodile. Nice one right here. Let's move on. And not a turtle. So what is this? This is actually a giant tortoise. Yes, they are actually land animals. Next up, what else do we have inside the box? Another snake. All right, what kind of snake is this? I have no idea. Let's take a look at the name. I think it is written right below. It is actually a coiled snake. All right. Yes, this, this snake looks pretty terrifying to me. Next, another turtle. And what is this turtle? This is actually a desert tortoise. All right, let's read some facts about this wonderful animal, wonderful reptile. The desert tortoise can live up to 100 years and weigh up to 15 pounds. Okay, that's not too heavy. What do we have right here? Let's take a look. We have a horned lizard. I've never seen one in real life before. What about you guys? Let me know down below, okay? Next up, this is a Cam's Ridley Sea Turtle Baby. I've never seen one of these before as well, but they look super adorable. Another snake. I'm not too sure what is the name of this um, snake. It looks like a black-headed, um, I don't know, probably like a viper. I'm not too sure. So if you guys know, what is the exact species of this snake? Let me know down below. This one right here is a king cobra. You can actually bend uh, the neck upwards. So let's read some facts about a cobra. One species can spray the venom up to eight feet away. So you can actually spray venom from the mouth. And yes, I think they look kind of scary, especially with this frill right here. Look kind of scary to me. Next. Another snake. What is this snake? This is actually an Australian snake and is known as a brown snake. Just known as a brown snake. And I think the body texture looks really nice. It kind of looks looks very really shiny. So I'm not too sure whether this is the same in um, real life. Next up, another Komodo dragon. But this one is definitely much smaller than the one that we have seen just now. Okay. I'm not too sure where this was from. Oh, all right from Safari LTD as well. What is this? This is a saltwater crocodile. I think it is one of the reptiles with, if not, I mean, one of the reptiles with the biggest white frost, if not the biggest. And yeah, probably, you know, in the entire animal kingdom as well. This is a um, albino. What is this again? Let's see. An albino Burmese python. Let's read some facts. 
Alright, let's see what is written right here. Albinism occurs when an animal cannot produce melanin, the pigment responsible for skin coloration. So there are actually plenty of um, different albino animals such as lions. Okay. I'm not too sure why this is doing here. This is not supposed to be in this video because this is not a reptile. What is this? This is a leather back sea turtle. Alright, another beautiful turtle. And this is basically just a sea turtle baby, a very generic sea turtle baby. And this is known as the um, thorny devil, if I'm not wrong. Alright. And what do you guys think? Is this like a um, crocodile? Or is this like a prehistoric crocodile, like a Sakusukus? I'm just going to lean with um, lean towards a crocodile. Another turtle right here. This is basically like a tortoise. We have a small little crocodile and this is actually known as a caiman. And they are actually pretty small as compared to saltwater cro crocodiles or alligators. They're really small. They can be found like, you know, this size. Alright, what do we have right here? We have a collared lizard. Looks really beautiful, I must say. Plenty of different colors. This is... What is this? A white alligator. Looks really nice. And what about this one right here? Let's see, what is this? This should be a saltwater crocodile. The crocodile is the biggest bite force. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest reptilian species. Wow, I'm not too sure. You know, it's probably bigger than a, um, an alligator. And another sea turtle. This is actually a loggerhead turtle. What is this? A rattlesnake, a sightwinder rattlesnake. So they basically you know, move in side, sideways. I don't think there's any effects on, you know, in the sheet. So let's just remove this. All right, a beautiful side wider rattlesnake. Wow, what do we have right here? Another red snake. So let's see, what is this? This is actually a copper snake baby. It's beautiful colors on its body. Next up, another sea turtle. This is an adult sea turtle. This is a bearded dragon. Okay. Um, let's see, what else we have? I think this should be an alligator. And not a sea turtle. I don't think this is fully grown. Oh, it is fully grown. An adult sea turtle is written right below. A crocodile. I think this figure is from PNSO. Looks really nice. A snake, but I have no idea what is the species of this snake. We have some insects, so these are definitely not part of the um, reptiles collection. So this is basically the reptiles that we have. But just to let you guys know, we also have some prehistoric reptiles in, um, in our shelf. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably make another video on our prehistoric marine reptiles for you guys to watch, okay? Thanks for watching this, okay? Okay guys, so thanks for watching our reptiles collection. In our next video, we can probably, you know, um, come out with a collection video on whales, maybe on sharks as well. Let me know down below what other collection videos you guys want me to make and I'll be happy to do that, okay? You know, check this out. This is a mess that we have to clean up right after this video, so, okay? So stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe if you're not yet a Dan Safarian and I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Thanks and goodbye. Hello all Dan Safarians, today we are going to feed our two Red Ear Sliders Terrapin. They're really big as you guys can see. So, help me to open this area. Okay, we're gonna feed them with turtle pellets from Neutra Fin. Floating turtle pellets. Alright, let's um, scoop it up with some. You know, using a spoon. Just gonna drop it into the water. Yes, we can see they can't wait to feed. They can't wait to eat. Alright, there you go. The feeding on them. They love eating them. Alright, so this is Luna for you. The one with the shorter tail. And that's Turbo. 
Okay, so this is basically where we clip them. So they're happily eating right now. Okay, you can see they love eating all these turtle pellets. They're really big and healthy. There's still more behind. Alright, let's give them some more. Just put it right over here. Okay. I think that should be enough. We love eating them. Okay. Take a look from this angle. Okay, I think they are done eating Turbo and Luna. So you can see they are just having a rest. And yes, they look happy. They look healthy and they're pretty fat. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hello, Dan Safarians. Welcome back to my studio. Today, I'm going to show you guys my entire collection of sharp figurines, okay? So let's go. Okay, guys, so let's get started. Okay, the first one right here is actually a beautiful Megalodon. Okay, this one is actually one of our more realistic um figure i think it looks really gory at the same time you can see there's like rows of teeth the paint work the articulation on this i mean there's no articulation but the detailing on this is incredible you can see the scars you can see the body texture so this is definitely a really really good collector's item i really like it a lot this one i've actually got this not too long ago it looks kind of cool but in terms of um you know the quality it's definitely not as good as this one but it has some playability you can actually move the tail you can move the flippers the jaw so it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool figure next of course um, it came in the set so we also have like a um, you know a hammerhead shark with a movable head pretty cute looking I must say okay it also come um, with a whale shark so basically like the entire set and it also have some wheels but today we're just gonna talk about sharks not wheels okay this one is a pretty pretty good one that uh, we've got a couple of years back it's pretty cool uh, you can actually uh, put like mini fish into its body and you can retrieve them by you know opening this little door here this opening here so it looks kind of cute you can just press this it's pretty awesome and not a Megalodon, okay, this one is actually from Safari LTD, it's a pretty old figure, all the way back in like 2013, okay, but pretty nice looking. This is a sawfish, but I'm not too sure. I think sawfish, they are actually not sharks, they are more of a ray, but you know, let's just show this in our sharks collection as well. Basking shark, a pretty good figure, this is actually very solid from Collecte, okay, it's a pretty nice figure, very well detailed. So do you guys know that the basking sharks, they have the mouth wide open is because they can actually take in all the water and filter out all the food particles. So that's pretty incredible. And speaking of incredible, another one which is really incredible is the mega mouth shark. As they are really rare and they are like, you know, very similar to goblin sharks that they can only be found 
um, like really deep underwater and it's really really rare to spot them yeah very nice figure yeah my one and only mega moth figure I must say I think we have two of them this should be another great white shark not a best looking figure you can see the creases on his body it looks kind of weird this is a hammerhead shark a very very old figure 1991 very nice figure okay another hammerhead shark but this is actually a baby but it doesn't really look like a baby I mean uh, I mean, they're trying to make it like cute looking, but you know, it looks a bit, a bit, a little bit too cartoonish for me. Okay, this this is the other uh, Mega Mom shark figure. Uh, we got this from the National Geographic set. A great white shark. I think this is a bootleg. There's no brand to it. Um, yeah, I think this is a bootleg figure. Oops, it's on the floor right now. This is also from the National Geographic set. Um, it's a goblin shark. Do you guys know that goblin sharks? They're really, really weird looking and when they want to attack or you know feed on some other prey the mouth will actually move forward like you know in this kind of triangular shape and uh, yeah it's pretty weird looking I say this is a fruit shark I've never seen one I should probably check out a video of a fruit shark because I've never really seen one before yeah this is also from the National Geographic set okay right over here we have a another hammerhead shark okay um, it's, it's pretty cool looking Alright, um, let's move on and take a look at the next figure. This is actually a Tiger Shark 1993 figure. So you can see the Tiger Sharks have stripes on his body, which sort of like resembles the stripes of a tiger, which is why it's got his name as a Tiger Shark. Um, great White Shark, nothing special about this figure, so let's just move on. This is another really nice um, Great White, um, a 2016 figure. Really, ni really nice one. This is a Sand Tiger Shark. Yeah, a pretty cool figure. Yep, um, all the way back, all the way back in 20, oh, it's just 2020, which is like two years ago. So it's a re relatively new figure as compared to my other figures. This, it's a bamboo shark. You can see it has like two fang-like structure, which looks kind of similar to nurse shark. Yep, a, what is this? From 2019. And um, this one should be a zebra shark. If I'm, oh, it's a leopard shark, I beg your pardon. So they look kind of similar to um, zebra sharks. This one, I have no idea what this is. Is this like a leopard shark or something like that? I have no idea. Yep. Let's see what else we've got. Um, this is a beautiful um, great white. I really love the face, how they have actually sculpted it to be pretty scary looking. Because, yeah. I, I feel this one looks really good. This is what is called the scallop hammerhead shark. It, the shape is basically more or less the same as a hammerhead. But you can see like, you know, bumps and curves along the, um, the top part of the head. This is probably a um, guitar fish, I'm not too sure. It doesn't have the name. This is a nurse shark. So previously, I've actually shown you guys the bamboo shark and it has two fang-like structure which looks very similar. This is the oceanic white tip reef shark or white tip reef shark. It's not an oceanic white tip reef shark. There's actually another shark which is known as the oceanic white tip reef shark. All right, let's move on. We have a um, blue shark right over here, all right? And um, this is a shark which I need to help of you guys because I have no idea what this is. It has like spots on its body and um, it's not a tiger shark for sure, but I, I have no idea what it is. So I'll probably need to help you guys. Okay, this one is actually a zebra shark, all right? Another basking shark figure. This one doesn't look as detailed or as, you know, beautiful as the previous one. I definitely prefer the previous one more. This is another great white shark for curved tail. I think it's slightly warped because of the way I kept it. Kept it. Another basking shark. So we have three basking sharks in total. This is a grey reef shark. Okay, grey reef shark. So they looks kind of like, um, they look kind of slender, very aerodynamic looking. So I, I'm pretty sure that this shark can um, swim pretty fast. This is a shark ray, all right, shark ray. Another sawfish. This is a mako shark, that's right, a mako shark. Cool. This is the oceanic white tip reef shark. So you can see, uh, where's our previous white tip reef shark? Let's do like a comparison. Uh, I'm not too sure whether I'm able to find it's basically on my table, but it's kind of like in a mess, oh, you can see. This is the um, white tip reef shark. This is the oceanic white tip reef shark. So you can only see like slight, slight tint of white on the fins, okay? 
This is the shark fin Mako shark. All right, you can see the body is like curved in a very nice way. I really love this this posture. Another tiger shark. We have two of these figures, the exact same figures. A great white without any brand to it. Um, it's probably like a bootleg, I think. This is a. Uh, I'm not sure. This is just probably a bull shark. I'm not too sure. This it's a thrasher shot. You can actually recognize it with the very long tail. Yeah, it's super long. It looks like a sword. And this it's another great white. Um, a bull shark. This is known as a warbler gang, which is a type of shark. So I I got this figure like a couple of months back. I've never heard of a warbler gang until I got this figure. So I Google it and I know that this is actually a warbler gang. Which is like a type of guitar fish, and um, I think these two are also guitar fish. Uh huh. This is the Bonner head, a Bonnet hammerhead shark, which is, which is closely related to um the hammerhead shark, I think. But the hammer is like not too wide as what you can see from the hammerhead sharks. This is a lemon shark. You can easily recognize this by the color of its skin. I mean, its skin texture, the skin color. And this, it's a black tip reef shark. Yeah, nice, nice one. So you can see the fins. There's like black tint on at the end. So it's a black tip reef shark. No idea what this is. This is probably a shark ray or a guitar fish. This is another zebra shark. All right, from Collecte. Some mini mini shark figures. Hammerhead. This is probably a great white. I'm not too sure. And two really small ones, which I can't really tell. This is another shock ray. All right, just a couple of our mini figures right here. And um, yeah, that's my collection of shocks figurines. Which one is your most favorite? Let me know down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I want you guys to comment down below what are the collection videos you guys want me to make, and I'll be happy to do that. Thanks for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.